Hello everyone, let's go ahead and get started with uh, learning about Python numbers in this lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new Python 3 notebook. And I am going to call this one 004 numbers. Let's put a comment working with numbers in Python. I'll do shift enter. So as you recall, Python does not have uh, data types that you use ahead of time to declare. As you assign variables or va assign values to variables, the type is determined on the fly. So if I take a look at num and type of num, and also print des and type of des, it tells you that 3 is an integer and 3.14 is a float. Let's take a look at operations. So print 3 plus 2, print 3 minus 2, print 3 times 2, print 3 divided by 2. Now division has several options. We can do a double division which is a floor operation. So it drops the decimal. Print 3 modulus 2 which retain, returns the remainder and print 3 exponentiation. So 3 squared basically. As you can see, the results are what we expected. In particular, take a look at the 3 forward slash forward slash to the double division that got rid of the decimal. And the modulus one returned the remainder, which is 1. Pretty straightforward. We could, uh, we could use uh, parentheses to control the order of operations. So let's take a look at that. I can say print 3 times 2 plus 4 times 7. So as you know, the multiplication is done ahead of time. So this is 6 plus 28. We expect to see 34, and that's what we get. Now I could do 3 times parentheses 2 plus 4 times 7, which is a totally different result. We can do variable incrementing. And this can be done with any operation, not just addition. But let's take a look at num equals 1 and then do num plus equals 2. And if I do num, you can see that it incremented our num variable to 3. But I can also say num times equals, let's say, 4. Currently, it's 3 times 4. We should expect to see 12. And it is. I can take 9 divided by equals, let's say, 6, and we should expect to see 2. And we do. So it's fairly straightforward. This is something we're going to use quite a bit in our programming, using these incrementing uh, or shorthand notations for working with a variable that is being, being uh, assigned to itself, back to itself. There are functions built in. We'll take a look at these in just a moment. But here's the absolute value function, for instance. Uh, print round of 3.78. It rounds it up to 4. We have more control if we want. So I can say 3.789, you know, blah, blah, to two decimal places. And it rounds it up to 3.79. So take a look at comparisons. Very important over here that if you recall, uh, the Equality is an assignment operator. So it assigns what's on the right to what's on the left. While we're here, I would also like to point out that Python always does what's on the right of the equality sign first and then assigns the result to the left. This is going to give us an error message because clearly you cannot assign 2 to 3 because 3 is not a variable. If I want to do a comparison, I do a double equality. In which case, it tells me this is a false statement, which is correct. I could say 3 is double equal to 3, and it would return true, of course. Let's do less than or equal to 2. It's a false statement. Is it greater than or equal to 2? 
it's a true statement. Is it greater than 2? It's a true statement. Is it less than 2? It's a false statement. And how do we say not equal to? The way we do it is by saying exclamation point equals to, which is not, you know, they're not equal, so it's going to return a true statement. So fairly straightforward to, to work with comparison operations. Let's also take a look at uh, this um, idea of working with strings that may present themselves as numbers. One thing to remember, as we will learn in, in later lessons, whenever you accept input from the command line or from a web form, the input always comes in as text, as strings. So you, if you want to work with it, if it's a number, you need to cast it or convert it to a number. If I were to print num1 plus num2, we get what's called concatenation, basically attaches them together. If we want to actually do the addition, we have to do casting. We can do casting on the fly by simply using the uh, variable type that is of interest to us. Since these are integers, we're going to use the int variable type or casting operator to make the proper changes and we get the results that we want. Let's take a look at uh, num equals 19 and let's pr print the directory of all functions that are available for this. Just like with it for strings, you can see there are plenty of uh, functions that are built into Python. Now you notice, for instance, that the absolute value, the abs, is not listed. And instead, we have this double underscore abs, double underscore. You always see that. We have one for addition. We have one for subtraction. Where is subtraction? There should be a sub here somewhere. There it is, subtraction. The thing is, I can always do the absolute value of a number, like we saw earlier. But if I want to do it the way Python initially intended it to, I would say num dot double underscore abs double underscore open close parentheses. Same exact result. This is a shorthand notation for this. For some of these, it does exist. To be honest with you, the plus sign is a shorthand for uh, double underscore add double underscore. Okay, now this is going to give me an error message because I was just making it up. Let me make the comment so <clears throat> we don't get the error message. What I'm trying to say is uh, if I want to do, if I wanted to add two numbers, I could use it uh, using this addition operation. Apologize for that little thing that pops up. I'm not sure why. So for example, if um, I could do something like num plus, whoops, three for instance, and we expect to get minus 16. But the, the way Python handles it behind the scenes is actually calling in this function add and passes the parameter three into that and you get the same results. Anyway, just uh, we'll have more to say about the double underscore in a future lesson, not to worry. Uh, and it will make a lot more sense by the time we get to that. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these, please share them with loved ones and friends. Thank you.